Sorry, friends. Seems like it really is time to discuss the death of Superman. What a strange story. I know we recently covered within the past two weeks a story of Henry Cavill coming out on Instagram telling everyone that he was super excited and proud to play Superman again. And why you would put him in a position like this, it just shows you what disarray DC Studios is in to have them recant this story as now it's been confirmed both by Henry Cavill and James Gunn that Henry Cavill will no longer be playing Superman. This is a giant mistake. Thought you had our backs, James Gunn. We put up with all... What I don't understand, you had a pretty mediocre box office showing with with Suicide Squad. And I really like Suicide Squad. I like what you've done with Marvel. But you're no like you're not some sort of classic director that people are gonna go back and be like, yeah, this guy's brilliant. You're no Sam Raimi, you're not Spielberg, you're 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 just the guy who wrote Slithered and directed it. Get a little too big for your britches, but let's take a look at the articles and see what's going on here. This is a real big mistake. Henry Cavill, 23 million Instagram followers. And now I know Instagram's dead, but literally Henry Cavill could be one of the biggest stars on earth. The man literally played Superman excellently to, to most people's regards, especially when people look back at Man and Steel. They weren't real sure how they felt about it, but now... Looking back, they like they like it. They they go back and they watch it again, and they go, well, "This guy actually was really good." And you know, how are you gonna find a guy six foot three, perfect build, perfect attitude, good actor, brought butts in the seats? You know, isn't that what the most important part of this is? Let's make money, right? So here we have him. He's a you know great actor, perfect specimen to play Superman, and you're gonna just just drop him doesn't make any sense when we started the the marvel mcu you started with known actors you started with robert downey jr robert downey jr had quite a bit of uh you know credibility even though his career was on it was on like hiatus because of his drug addiction he still was a well-known actor and this was really like his renaissance even edward norton oscar winner right you, you used him for the hulk when you rebuilt the mcu you couldn't you're not going to pick some actor out of obscurity and make them a, a giant star so i don't understand with this i don't think that they're making a good decision here james gunn you're worrying me man not necessarily feeling that this is going there's there's a lot of news here and i'm only going to cover some of it because this story keeps unfolding is wonder woman seems to be obviously wonder woman 3 seems to be on the back burner at the moment there's some rumors that James Gunn seems to be picking fights with all these uh, YouTube rumor mills. Now, we don't typically report on rumors. We report on stories that were told. Sometimes we'll talk about rumors, um, but it's not really our bag here. We really just cover the news and, and try to give our like amusing takes on them. And look, James Gunn, I know you like stuffing small, you know, like... We were there with you when you were stuffing your small your girlfriend into suitcases. We were there with you. We were there with you when you were telling jokes about Justin Bieber with trauma. Some of us may have worked with trauma ourselves. Like, we were there with you. But this, this is a giant mistake. Henry Cavill's one of the biggest stars on earth. The man competently played Superman. Perhaps the best Superman in some people's eyes. Some people won't, will always think Christopher Reeve, but... As far as a physical specimen that matched Superman, this this man did it. Not to mention he's a great actor. He's putting butts in the seats. He did uh, The Witcher, one of Netflix's biggest shows. You know, it's not as big as Stranger Things, but a very, very big show on an unknown property. You know, it's a video game property, but a very good adaptation that people seem to like. Now, obviously, it went off track, but you're going to eye him to play a different character? Really? Really, James Gunn? And here's what I don't necessarily like, and we're going to get to it, but both James Gunn and Henry Cavill have revealed that they will not go forward. P 
Peter and I, this is James Gunn, Peter and I have a DC slate ready to go, which we couldn't be more over the moon about. Really? Really. Among the slate is Superman in its initial stages. Will we be focusing on the earlier part of Superman's life? So the character will not be played by Henry Cavill, but we just had a great meeting with Henry and we're big fans and we're talking about a number of exciting possibilities to work together in the future. So you're gonna have a young Superman. You know how many young Superman there have been and how many people don't remember? Do you remember Superman and Lois? Does anybody care about that guy right now? Not really. Does anybody care about Lois and Clark? Is it, that guy's hosting some dumb shows. Some people like it, but not a lot. But Henry Cavill, Henry Cavill's been around for like 10 years now, man, and people still are calling for him. They want to see him as Superman, and you're going to ditch him. So Henry Cavill confirmed the news himself. It's sad news, everyone. I will, after all, not be returning as Superman. After being told by the studio to announce my return back in October prior to their hire, this news isn't the easiest, but that's life. And Henry Cavill, what a classy guy. But seriously, he comes back. He was told by the studio in October, and less than two months later, you're announcing he's not going to be it? What is wrong with DC? What is wrong with Warner Brothers? Like, this is just foolishness absolute foolishness you act like fools in the way that you're handling patty jenkins look i'm not the biggest patty jenkins fan in the world and wonder woman 84 is garbage but you look like a bunch of clowns you should have had all this worked out before you started announcing that henry cavill one of the biggest stars on earth was not going to star it's like saying tom cruise isn't going to be in any more um of those crazy movies where he tries to kill himself all the time mission impossible it's like are you kidding me uh, you know, for those of you who've been by my side through the years, we can mourn for a little bit, but then we must remember Superman is still around. Everything he stands for still exists, and the examples he sets for us are still there. My turn to wear the cape has passed, but what Superman stands for will never, or never, for, for never will. It's been a fun ride with you all, onwards and upwards. Classy. Absolutely classy. Now they're talking about, they're also talking about Ben Affleck, which, I mean, it's fine, but he's going to direct something instead of starring in it. Like, m I think my bigger analysis is, think about the MCU. You're trying to duplicate what the MCU did, which was 10 years of success, 20-something movies of, su of success until the MCU, which is garbage. But you built it on the backs of quality actors. You're not going to pluck someone out of obscurity to play a young Superman and win. Are you going to spend $200 million budget on a movie that's not going to bring in $400 million? Right? You already called the Black Adam. Everybody's calling Black Adam a failure. That's $400 million. You called Batman versus Superman a failure when that brought in like $893 million. What are your expectations? Doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. I know I'm coming off very angry. I'm gonna try to gotta calm down a little bit. But seriously, I just I really don't understand why DC has wasted such a good portrayal of Superman when you've seen so many inferior Superman pop up in and out of, of things. Brandon Ralph, please. Henry Cavill is Superman. It's you you get this like this type of casting. Very rarely. You're going to waste Gal Gadot, too. You're not going to... Like, what are you going to do with her? You know, you're talking... And look, I get that, uh, you know, Jason Momoa redefined Aquaman. Made him kind of cool. Aquaman was a dork. No one liked Aquaman. But you made him kind of cool, and now you, you may recast him as Lobo. Like, James Gunn. I, I feel like James Gunn sometimes gets up his own ass. And I just... I'm, I'm highly concerned for DC. Um... I know it it just, just don't get it. Just don't get it. Very confused. You know, and to tell, a, it's just so suspect to tell a young Superman story. What does that mean? Does that mean Black Adam is done? Like, you have this jumbled mess. You have the Flash coming out. You have it. They won't get rid of J.J. Uh, Abrams and Ta-Nehisi Ta Coates' version of Superman, which no one wants. No one wants... You don't even want J.J. Abrams. You canceled all of his projects that you signed a deal with him on uh, 
you know, Warner Brothers, HBO, w whatever you're doing, it just seems like these are half measures and you're going to end up with half measures coming back. So anyway, enough of me ranting. I know I sound like an absolute lunatic, but this is very, very aggravating. Um, you know, especially when you literally pull the rug out from under us and you asked Henry Cavill to say he was going to be Superman. I just signed, like, why would you do that, you bozos? Running a, it's a clown show. Absolute clown show. We'll see what happens. Do I have faith in James Gunn? You know, I really like uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 1. Galaxy of the, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2? Meh. The Christmas special was fun, but not, like, nothing amazing. Suicide Squad was good. But it's not like I don't go back and be like, oh, it's one of the greatest superhero movies I've ever seen. So, James Gunn, you're a warning. We're watching you, buddy. We're going to pay very close attention. And this will either doom you or maybe you don't care. Maybe you got the new girlfriend. You even stuck your girlfriend in Black Adam. And what, you're going to pull her out of this? It just doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. You, none of it makes any sense. You want to have a cohesive story, but you're going to burn all your bridges. So anyway, enough for me. Let me know. Are you frustrated down? Uh, is this aggravating to you? Or are you excited to see a new chapter in Superman? Maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe we need to see something different. Maybe we need to start somewhere else. I, I could be totally wrong, but I don't think I am. And uh, catch our full-length audio podcast. Let us know what you think there, too. It's free. You can, you can catch it on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, iTunes, all those great places and more for free. You can also catch our live stream Friday nights, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come join the fun. We uh, engage in the chat there as well. But as for me, I love y'all, but I am on to the next one.